Good day guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. I think this is episode 7. Uh, how's it going? I hope you're all doing very well. So we've got a couple of uh, options available here. Uh, we've got, uh, I think there's a Bonnie mission and a West Dickens mission. So we'll head over, I think Bonnie. And, uh, let's get this on, let's get it going. Hope you're all doing well guys. There we go. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Oh, now, so the uh, guy Thank with the you, uh, I'm sure big tash has uh, gone missing. Right, where's Colin? Come on, boy. Let's get going. Well, come on, Colin, bloody hell. Let's go. We ain't got time to wait. He's a bit of a dowsy bugger, is Colin. Quick if you can. Please stay close. Let's go, let's go and find I've got a, a dead. Bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Yeah, only manly men can uh, grow moustaches like that. He'll be fine. Sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. What the hell? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. What a banker. Helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Yeah, good point. Who's that over there? Come on, let's oh. hurry! Easy oh God, now. I hope he's not dead. Daddy. Oh, Jesus, what's what going happened? on here? Nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe they're baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now, fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Go. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Yeah, not nice, uh, nice people. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal, there's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. What about Look, Robin Mr. Hood? Morrison, the barn is on fire! Oh shit, is it? Let's look at the barn. Oh bloody hell it is as well. Right, let's go and put this out. I have to do my uh fireman Sam. Get my big hose out. Oh shit, the horses are still in there. Another way to get in there. This ain't working. Right, okay, let's go to the yellow dot. Let's see what we can do. Get these donkeys out of here. Uh, right, right, I see. Okay, so square and then uh, lean L upwards to climb. It's okay, we can do this, Max. Come on. Okay, yeah. Looks like the fire's well going. Uh, cook a few shrimps on this Barbie, no danger. Right, let's go along Put here, climb up. Bloody hell, you can hear the horses uh, going off their tits. There we go, let's get around here. Uh, right, is there a ladder 
or something. Oh yeah, it is. It's hard to say. There's another one, we'll get down on that one. Slide down, All right, let's get these out in the barn doors. Oh bloody hell, they've sealed them in. Nice people, aren't they? Well done! Now let's save the horses! Right, I'll save the horses. Slap horse? Yes, yeah, slap that horse. Because they have to pay uh, good money for that sort of thing. Oh no. Right, looks like we're going to have to maybe. I don't know. We're going to have to jump it. Oh god. Well done, horse. Just headed straight for the wall. Let's do this before we get barbecued. Right, we're out. That's good. Oh, bloody hell. It's a good dive, that was. Right, okay, so we saved the horses. That's his catalogue pose. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Yeah, no worries, fella. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss mm -hmm. McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. <laughs> All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. There's definitely some uh, sort of tension between these two. I think uh, I think they'd like to get it on, but whether they do or not, I don't think they will. Right, let's see. So we've got some fame and some honour. Oh well, that was a bit uh, tense, wasn't it? Bloody hell, there's a bull here. Let's get out of here. Before he sticks one of those horns where it hurts. Let's get over this fence. Yeah. Right. Oh, bloody hell, is it not? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Right. Well done, Max. Jesus Christ. This bull wants to, uh... Jesus, he's a bit, uh... He's a bit angry, isn't he? Right. Okay. So it looks like our only option now is to go and see the marshal. Uh, he's still keen, that bull. Uh, right, so guys, but I think what we'll do is we'll head over to Armadillo. And we'll do the mission with the marshal. Okay, guys, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so we've uh, arrived back at Armadillo. So, uh, yeah, there's a mission here. Uh, and we'll go and see the marshal. I hope uh, Eli's in it. I do like Eli. So, yeah, let's do it. Hanging Bonnie right, McFarlane? Alright, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find oh, out what he knows. What's going on here? Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? Bloody hell, he's a bit oh, angry. I've seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! Sounds like Biff Tannen. Even better! Good day, Mr.
Mr. McFarlane? Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. That's a funny looking Mr. horse. Wants to see his bunny funny colour. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a Pink. nice girl you got there. Get down from there. You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is a land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. Yeah, what a horrible bastard. Boys, have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Right, so it looks like we're going to do an exchange with that guy we caught the other day. Oh, it's not looking good. Right, let's go and get Bonnie back. Oh, there's Eli. No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Yeah, not much has changed these days. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson's right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill's standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. Yeah. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. God, it sounds like here. Moss Eisley. It's a popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Come on. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. Bloody hell, it's all very complicated and deep, isn't it? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules. 
But they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spike it. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. I hope to have a spoiler yet. I ain't had my turn. Jesus, where's this bloody town? I can't wait for you to meet the boy. You think you're a man, do you? Yeah. Tumbleweeds across the bridge. Thank God for that. Must be near bloody Japan by now. Let's shoot these bastards. <laughs> John. To be fair, he's got a manly tash as well. He's a horrible guy, but I must uh, admire his facial hair. Scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. I bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> right. John, you lead Deke into town and make the exchange. I might have I'm my sure uh, shotgun, have just in case. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Bloody hell, do they? Trap too? Maybe she won't want to go home. she been fucked so good. Yeah, I'd like Why to shoot this guy. Some of that breath from breathing. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fellas. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Jesus Christ. Right. The screen's turning dark red. That's not good. Oh, there's one up there. Right. Let's get moving up here. Where is she, you bastards? Right, let's move up a bit. Don't try to be something you're not. Jesus Christ, I can't get him. Where's Bonnie, you suck of bitches? There's one over there. Are you kidding me? Bonnie! Where are you? Right, where are they? There's one. Move up a little bit. Oh shit! Oh Christ, right, get going, Max. Right, let's go. Come on, Max. Jesus Christ. down. Jesus, that was close. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell 
took you so long, you stupid man. Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. Holy hell, she looks a bit rough. Right, guys, that bloody hell, that was a bit tense, wasn't it? Well, at least we saved her. Right, so I think they're going back to the ranch. So I think what I'll do, guys, I'll loot a few bodies, have a little look around Tumbleweed. Uh, and then I think we'll head back and go and see Mr. West Dickens. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. See you soon.